Okie dokes, peoples. This is the last one. Let's get it done. Example three. The following activity network shows the activities that are needed to complete a project and their completion time in hours. Construct a precedence table showing the duration and predecessors for each of the activities shown. So this time they've given us the activity network and from the activity network they want us to create the precedence table. Okay, so let's begin by listing out all the activities that we have here. Now, we have activity A, B, C. Now this is where you gotta be careful. This is D here is not an activity. It's just representing the dummy one right here. So we're not going to write down D for dummy uh, because it's the dummy edge and you never write that down. So we're gonna have to skip it. Then we'll go E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Okay, so ready? A, B, C, skip D because it's a dummy. A, B, C, D, G, A, B, C, D, E. My goodness, I'm not an English teacher. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L. All right, that was a bit of a fail of me doing my alphabet. I'm the type of person who, when someone asks, you know, what's after T, I have to go A B C D E F G H I J K. All right, I don't know what that says about me, but probably nothing good. All right, let's keep on going. Next, we have to figure out the duration. All right, the duration. Now, we just literally read it off. So, for instance, A is two hours, two. B is one. C is five. E is three. F is 4, G is 2, H is 2, I is 1, J is 6, K is 7, L is 2. Well done, we did it. Okay, next, we have to identify the predecessors. Well, for A, B, and C, they have no predecessors, because as you can see, they're emerging from the start. What is the predecessor to E? Well, if I come to E, what is immediately before it? It is A, so A is the predecessor. What is the predecessor for F? Well, where is F? Well, here's F. Now, this one is going to be interesting because as you can see, the predecessor is going to be B, right? So let's write that down, B. But then we've also got this dummy, which is telling us that C needs to be done as well. Because remember, we don't read it off as D. What we read it off, off as is you know, C as connected through the dummy. So that means we're going to write C here. We keep on going. What about G? All right, let's just rub things out. Where's G? Where is it? There it is, G. All right, well, the predecessor to G is going to be C, like that. All right, we keep on going. What is the predecessor of H? H is there, the predecessor is going to be E. What is the predecessor of I going to be? The predecessor of I is going to be G. What is the predecessor of J going to be? The predecessor of J is going to be E. What is the predecessor of K going to be? This one's interesting. It's going to be H, F, and I. H, F, I. H, F, and I. Uh, next, what is the predecessor of L? The predecessor of L is going to be K and J. K, J. K and J. Perfect. And just like that, we have done it. We have done everything uh, that they have asked us to do there.